Okay guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of Cook Along with Young Shrewsbury. I'm Adam Pennell, lead youth worker, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy pork ramen. Uh, ramen, for those of you who don't know, it's Japanese noodles, okay? Um, and you can use all different types of noodles. Uh, today we're going to use egg noodles, um, which are really easily ready, readily available. If you're just tuning in now uh, and you want to know, you want to do take part in this, you can check the comments and you'll see that we've written in all of the ingredients for you. But I'm going to go through it again. So we've got the egg noodles. I've got some belly pork, just a couple of strips, roughly a strip per person. So I'm just going to. There's only me here. I'm going to do two portions, but there's only me here today, so I'm not going to make as much as you maybe. So you might want to double up. I'll talk about that on the way through. Got our pepper. We've got some spring onions. We've got a chili. We've got some sesame seeds. I'm using black sesame seeds, but white sesame seeds are cool. I've got a little bit of corn. You can use tinned or frozen or fresh. Uh, a little bit of broccoli, some fresh ginger, and then we've got some soy sauce. Got some. This is actually rice wine vinegar, but you could use white wine vinegar. You could use any kind of vinegar, really. It's fine. I'm just going to use the, this rice wine vinegar. Um, I've got some honey, runny honey. And I've got some sesame oil. Okay, right. So to start off with, then, I'm just going to get my uh, my pan up to temperature. Um, we're going to just get the noodles cooked. Now, normally, what you do with nut ramen is you build the bowl as you go. So what we're going to do, and reduce the amount of washing up and stuff, we're going to use the liquid that comes from cooking these uh, the cooking the noodles going to use to make the stock as well all right so I'm going to show you how to do that as we go I'm just going to bring that up to temperature it shouldn't take a minute and whilst we're waiting I'm just going to chop up some veg okay so I'm just going to take my we're going to stir fry this and it's just going to go once we've got the noodles in the bowl here okay we're going to then add the uh, vegetables and then we'll finally add the pork belly and then we'll pour the sauce over so the noodles might look like they're going to go cold but by the time we stuck poured there, by the time we poured the stock over them, it's going to heat them back up again. All right. So anyway, I'm going to take my broccoli. I'm just going to slice it into quite sort of thin pieces because we're just going to quickly stir fry this. Yeah. We only want to heat it through. I want to keep some crunch to that vegetables first. Those vegetables, firstly, because it kind of means that the, uh, you don't cook out all of the goodness. Okay. And secondly, I just like a bit of crunch. Nobody likes soggy vegetables. So. I'm going to put those to one side, they're just sliced, so you'll see, they're like quite thin, you know, they'll cook in seconds in, in a hot pan, sounds like my pan's up to boil, alright cool, so that's good to go, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put in these roughly one of these little discs is about a portion, I want to make two because maybe I have one later, okay, so I'm going to drop those in, and at the same time, I'm going to go in, so I've got about Again, if you go with about 300 mils of water per person, okay, that will work. So I've got about 600 mils of water in there, okay, and I'm going to drop in a uh, vegetable stock cube, okay, you can use beef stock if you want, you could use chicken stock, pork stock, whatever you like. This is actually like an Asian vegetable stock, so it's completely vegan actually, this one, but it gives a lovely flavour to the stock. So I'm just going to crumble in the stock uh, the stock cube into the water put the lid back on just let those noodles do their thing for while we carry on chopping okay so next thing is pepper okay so i'm just going to i'm not going to need much so i'm going to be making a couple of portions you could use a whole one i only use just half okay and i'm just going to cut that into some nice thin slices they'll look really cool with the noodles and again these are going to be cooked up so quickly that you don't want big chunks, you just want sort of nice thin slices all the way down. So you end up with bits like this in your noodles. Almost the thickness of noodles, yeah? Alright, so let's get that sliced. Excellent. So we've got our broccoli and our pepper sliced. The these spring onions, they're they used right at the end. Well the green bit is. So what we're gonna do is take off the root end get rid of that okay you could chop the white bit into say like three or four maybe yes you've got about six, I've got about six pieces there chunks which we're going to fry but then when you get to the green bit 
We're gonna use this to garnish later. So what we're gonna do is just slice that very thinly across into little, you get little ringlets. And that's gonna give it a nice fresh feel when you serve it at the end. We're just gonna sprinkle it on right when everything else is in the bowl. So they can go, the thick bits from the bottom go into the pile with the veg that we're gonna cook. And then those thin bits, you can just keep to one side for later on. Same goes for the chili. The chili we're not gonna cook, we're just gonna use it to garnish. So depending on how hot you like it, slice those into nice, thin, little pieces. You can tell that my, uh, this is going hard now. So we'll go look at that in a second. So I'm just gonna slice these into some nice, thin ribbons. All right, like this. And then pop to one side. Right, cool. Okay, so let's have a look at these noodles. Put the lid off. Woo, that's a bit warm. Be careful when you're taking the lids off. Okay, so those noodles are, they just sometimes they need some help just breaking up. Okay, so I'm just gonna tease them apart, but they're almost done. Very, very close indeed. All right. And I'm just gonna taste that broth. I'm gonna taste that sauce, because ultimately that's gonna be our broth. And see, I wanna add anything else, because you can, if you want to. You know what, it's pretty good as it is. What I'm gonna do is add in a little bit of soy sauce. And a drop of honey. Okay, tiny bit of honey. So I'm just gonna dip my spoon, and this goes straight over and just stir it through with the spoon. Okay, so those noodles are looking like they're done. So what I'm gonna do, now I've stirred everything else into that stock, is, put that to one side, we're gonna get some tongs. So we're gonna, because we're gonna keep this stock, you need to kind of either strain it into a sieve and save it and put the stock back into the pot, or just use some, um, what are these called? Tongs. Tongs, okay, to whip out the noodles and put them into the bowl that you're gonna serve them in. Okay, so we've started to build our noodle bowl, our ramen bowl already. All right, so normally you kind of space them out. So we're gonna put the ramen, the noodles to one side of the bowl, like so. So you'll see I've got this gap here and that's where the veggies are gonna go, all right? I'm gonna pop the noodles to one side and I'm gonna take this off the heat now. Okay, and we're gonna switch it in for a frying pan. So, we'll take that off, that can just rest. That stock will be used again later. But we're gonna start cooking some stuff now. So, next in. Oh yeah, before we get that going, what I need to do is, right, we'll turn that off for a sec. Right, don't get ahead of yourself, Adam. Right, so, next thing. We've got our noodles done. I'm gonna take what we call a thumb of ginger. So basically, about the size of your thumb, yeah, snap off a piece of ginger. You can use a spoon to peel it, it's the best way. Okay, so if you just scrape all the way along with the side of a spoon, ginger will peel really easily. Okay. So I'm gonna get that going. Oops. Okay, that's peeled. And then I'm just going to cut that, a little bit more peel on there, just going to take off. And then I'm going to just slice that into some nice thin matchsticks. Okay, so slice it thinly one way. Take your time on this. It might look like I'm doing it quickly, but I've done it for a long time. You guys aren't used to using knives, take your time. So I've cut it into thin bits like that, okay? And then I'm just going to go lengthways so they end up as like little matchsticks and they'll fry off really nicely. You kind of get like a crispy, a bit of crispy ginger in there. Awesome, so I'm gonna put that to one side and then the other half of it as well. So just gonna chop, 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 chop into really thin little ribbons. Lovely, ginger done. And then, as usual, oh, I forgot my garlic. Let me grab some garlic, one second.
it wouldn't be a cook along with me without forgetting something. So two pieces of garlic, side of the knife, pop it. So you're crushing it, skin will just fall off. So easy, yeah? So that's one, and a second, two. And then just get that bit off there, lovely. And then I'm just going to chop that up really thinly, or really finely, sorry. Nice and fine. Okay, so save that to one side. Once you've done it, make sure you get it nice and small. You don't want big lumps of garlic in your ramen. It just ain't gonna work. Okay, cool. Right then, so, next up. Get your pan back on. So I'm gonna get it on. You want it on fairly high heat to be um, doing any kind of uh, stir frying. Give it a good glug of sesame oil in the pan. Don't be sharp with that. Okay, actually while we're waiting for that to heat up, what we're gonna do is just quickly marinate this belly pork. So I've got these belly pork strips like this. Half the garlic, oh no, sorry, I'm gonna leave the garlic out, I'm gonna put half the ginger that I've just made, chopped into the belly pork. Okay, I'm gonna go for a good glug of sesame oil. Okay, and a good tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, and just make sure that that pork gets coated. It's gonna get more stuff going added to it later, but for, to start with, just get a little bit of a marinade going on your pork while your pan heats up. I'm just gonna wash my hands. So you probably can see that the pan is starting to smoke. That is good for a stir frying, all right? It means you can do it really hot and fast. So we're gonna go straight in with the broccoli. Woo! And the spring onion and the um, peppers. Get my spoon, just work those around. And we're also gonna go in with the rest of this ginger. That can go in there now. Frying up peppers and broccoli. And then at the last minute, I've got frozen corn, so I'm gonna throw it in a little bit earlier because it's cold. Um, it's gonna bring down the pan to give it a little bit more time to get through. And then with the, everything in, I'm gonna also add in the garlic as well. And also hit it with a little splash of soy sauce, okay? As I would say, you don't wanna cook this too far, too much. Just gonna, just heat it through really. Get a little bit of a char on it. Okay. You see I'm literally just spinning this round. That's ready to come off the heat. Okay, you turn the pan off, turn the thing off. So again, take your ramen bowl. So you've got the noodles on one side. Okay, you're gonna take in, just put your stir fried veggies on the other side. Okay, make sure you get equal amounts in each bowl. So you set setting your bowl out like that. So you've got the noodles on one side and vegetables on the other. And repeat with the other bowl. Okay, so we we'll just tip those in there. This will get me some brownie points when my, uh, my partner gets home later, hopefully. So the tea will be ready. Right, so vegetables on the one side. You'll see on the thumbnail of this video a picture of what this looks like at the end. If you're wondering how to plate it up. Right, so two parts done. Now I'm gonna go back on the heat with the pan to cook the belly pork. So again, you want it on a sort of medium heat, okay? Um, we're gonna go in with the last bit of the oil in the pan, okay? And basically, you're going to cook this kind of like bacon, really. I mean, it's just thick bacon. Um, you can slow cook belly pork. You've probably had it slow cooked um, where it kind of falls apart. This is going to be more like a bit like bacon texture in thickness. And you want roughly one strip like that per person. Okay, so once it's nice and hot, get that in the pan. Make sure that your belly pork, if you haven't had it from me, has the rind taken off. Okay, you don't want the actual skin, the bit that will turn into crackling normally, you don't want that in there, okay? Just get that into the pan, okay? Just gonna move that around. 
Now, this is quite a hot pan, so I just want to keep moving everything to make sure that it doesn't burn. You want to kind of cook, cook it through at the same time. So you're just going to keep cooking that bit by bit. Keep turning it. And you build up a bit of caramelization, okay? Now, this is kind of like how you cook steak or anything else. But to know that it's cooked at the end, we're just going to slice it before we uh, serve it. If you've got a temperature probe at home, you need to hit 70C in the middle. A lot of you probably don't know. So what we're going to do is just going to kind of keep cooking it. And I think for about five minutes, you need to cook this. So I'm not necessarily going to stay talking to you live as well, in real time for five minutes. But keep cooking it. And at the last minute, we're going to make this into sort of a nice sticky, sweet and sour pork, okay? We've got that, you can see that the uh, ginger is frying up nicely. There's a bit of smoke coming off this now. It looks nice bit of heat in there. Now, the last things that we're going to add into here, the thing that we're going to add into here is a bit of honey and a bit of vinegar. And the reason we add it in at the end is because honey is high sugar content and sugar burns, okay? And what we don't want to do is burn the sugar. So if we put it in too early or if we put it in the marinade, you see how I'm constantly turning these as well to keep them from cooking evenly, yeah? People think you need to keep it in one spot, you don't. Keep it moving around the pan, okay? But we're going to add some honey and some vinegar at the end and a little bit of soy sauce just to kind of to make this all sticky. If I put that in now, it would burn and it would just go wrong. So I'm just going to just fry the meat first. And that's why we didn't put anything sugar based in the marinade. Okay, it's just soy sauce, oil, and ginger. Again, ginger doesn't burn in the way the garlic does. All right, let me turn this down. This pan gets so crazy hot, it's ridiculous. You're, if you're doing it on a gas hob or something at home, you probably won't have the same problems that I'm having. But it is seriously, seriously hot, this uh, induction oven, this induction stove. Okay, what I'm going to do now, now that it's started, got a nice bit of caramelization, there's a bit of kind of... Um, sort of caramelized sticky stuff on the pan. I'm going to deglaze with some vinegar, okay? Put some vinegar into the pan. It'll almost be swimming, okay? All right. And this is now the time. I'm going to add in the last bit of your soy sauce. And a tablespoon of honey. Add that to the pan. I'm just going to keep rolling. Take the heat right down now. So you're going to low heat. We're just going to keep rolling that belly pork in that honey and vinegar and soy, okay, so until it's got a really kind of sticky coating on it. And the vinegar and the honey will reduce to give you this lovely sticky belly pork, which we're going to finish the dish with. So just keep working it around in there. You'll see that it's fizzing away on the edges. Okay, the sweet and the sour, that's how you make sweet and sour, it's just basically vinegar and something sugar based. So honey and any kind of vinegar is an absolute winner. I'm gonna turn it up a touch because it's going really slowly. So I want to try and reduce this down now and end up with a sticky sauce. So it's foaming up, that's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. It really is. So, if you can't see, I'm going to give you a quick view of what's going down here. Try and get away from the steam. Whoops. Oh, look at that belly pork. Absolutely amazing. That's what you're looking for. That's almost done. Just going to pop you back. Turn the heat down. Oh, so I can see that's now. I'm going to take that off the heat now. Turn that off. Okay, that is absolutely gorgeous looking. <coughs> Vinegar's hitting me in the face a bit, but the pork looks insane. And you'll see 
When you take the heat up, take the heat off, the bubbles will start to reduce down. Okay, and it will become like a really sticky Asian style barbecue sauce, which is all over that belly pork. It's gonna blow your minds, I tell you. So good. Right, that is nice and sticky. So I'm gonna bring a piece out onto the board. Let it rest. Always let your meat rest, okay? Really, really important. Next, we move back to our bowl, okay? So we've got the bowl with the veggies and the uh, noodles in, sort of going cold, okay? So this is rest, like, let this rest. I would let it rest longer than I'm gonna do it, okay? But take your pork and just slice it into nice thin strips, okay? So that's gonna be laid across the top of the ramen when it's done. Woo, it's hot. Definitely leave it a little bit longer than I have. Okay, you're not in a rush. I wanna kinda of get you guys cooking. So I'm rushing it a little bit. Slicing through the belly pork. Absolutely stunning looking. All right, so that can go to one side. So now, what we need to do is make up the ramen. So, we're gonna go back to our broth here. I've been waiting. Take a ladle. I'm just gonna pour the broth all over the noodles and the veggies. Okay, just to, and it kind of brings everything back to life. So if it's gone a bit cold, the noodles look a bit rubbery. By the time you finish this, they'll be well and truly rejuvenated with this lovely, fresh broth on the top. Okay, so broth almost to the beginning, to the top there. Tiny bit more. Lovely. Then we're gonna add the belly pork. Just nice and gently, because it's always nice to make the presentation good. Okay, that's looking amazing. And then finally, what we're gonna do is scatter it with a little bit of the spring onion greens. Okay, a few flakes of chili. I want a couple more, if you like it hot. And then finally, a sprinkling of sesame seeds and there we have it a pork belly ramen i'm going to bring the camera over so you can see all right absolutely amaze balls okay i hope you enjoyed cooking along with us once again all you got to do now is learn to use these chopsticks and get that down yet Right, next week, I haven't decided what we're making, as usual. This was a request that's come in. Give us your requests and we'll try and make it, all right? Make sure you like, subscribe, tell your mates, all the rest of it, and we shall see you next time. All right, take care, bye-bye.